have no words. Look around. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna get settled. See you in a bit. Okay? Okay. Look at that car. That bald eagle that comes every year. Got two little ones. My wedding anniversary is coming up uh, on the 29th of this month. So I googled how to make a blanket. Making it for the woman. And it'll be two years to quit smoking. Awesome. I was just watching a hunting show, but I might get flagged for uh, the music. So. Don't even see my blanket. It's only been two days. I got 28 days, 18 more days, I mean, to go. Hope it's big, eh? <clears throat> I've got my drum. We'll play it later. And uh, I've seen a couple of chickens uh, coming in. But uh, I didn't have any 22 shells on me, so tomorrow we'll get them, okay? Awesome. And I hope we see a move too. So, so anyways, we're all settled, and um, we're just going to go back, and then uh, there's a couple of deadfall, or uh, trees that fall over the road. We're going to go uh, buck it up and throw it off the trail. We just went around it on the way in. But uh, now we're all settled, we're going to go cut those, uh, those trees. And then come back and then go sleep. Okay? Okay. See you tomorrow.
I'm wearing my uh, my Ernest Monia shirt. But anyway, we're at the point here. Um, but I shot that moose a while back. Uh, but anyways, my Ernest Monia shirt, long time ago. Um, I used to drive my grandpa here at the lake, and uh, I'll cook for him, and we'll watch Ernest Monias uh, singing. He's got a CD in the cabin, and um, we'll watch the whole CD, and then we'll watch Alone in the Wilderness, and then we'll pack up and head her back. Every second day, we'll do that. Awesome, and it was good to see him, finally see him live, Ernest Monias, with a good show. But anyways, I brought Uncle Saw here. Remember? Her name's Annette. And it's an awesome saw, but a little loud. And um, I heard uh, a little bird told me that I might be getting a saw. Yeah, mother-in-law wants to get me a saw. So I, mean, I might need some saw names, okay? Okay, but anyways. There's a dry tree right there that fell down and I, I'm gonna buck it up and use it for um, campfire and tonight's uh, wood stove, okay? Okay, let's go get it. I still gotta look for some Danny too. I got, uh, I need a lot. So, I think I see some right there. So, let's keep going. The cabin's just right there, just around the corner. There's my twin sister's little, um, little home, I guess. Okay? Okay. Some good one. We need the spongy stuff. Oh, you can't even see me. I'll fix you.
When I was a kid, I used to be scared to come back here. My grandma had uh, rabbit snares all the way this way. And um, when I was a little guy, she used to say, go check those rabbit snares. And I would just get that far and then it's so cold and windy that the trees are popping and, and it's just a lot of noise, eh? I just turn around right there and go back. You check your, you check those rabbit snares? Yeah. Meanwhile, I just press snow and then, then my tracks just go right there. Just laughing. But then when I got older, I, um, I still have traps hanging here and there. Um, you want to see? I'll show you. When I was, uh, I got a little older to uh, set the, the big traps, eh? I set them back here for Martin. See? 12 years old. My traps are still hanging here. Awesome, eh? 12 years old now. 52 Some more over here okay. A couple of them So I got three hanging here Look how long it's been hanging there look It grew in there almost. I used to go that way too. It comes out way over there. It used to be the old trail. But anyways, I don't see no cranberries or anything. I see old cuts here and there from uh, when they're building a the log house. Uh, Don Bedeen and Michael Bedeen and Grandpa. And Tom Bedeen made the made the floor roof. Yo, you'll have his log laying down, eh? and then you'll make his boards like that. Really. Good board. It's still on the cabin. Remember for Denny too, I'm grab grabbing the spongy stuff? Do you see me already? That's a little bit of a little. Looks pretty cool back here with the ferns, eh? I still want to pick some cranberries. Remember my grandma used to pick cranberries. There's none back here, but I've seen some just over there. I just got some good news too. Uh, I'm going back to work. Going to Fontas. Awesome. Lands department. We're going to go hunt moose with them and see how they skin moose and how they, they talk, I guess, their language. See? I'm opening doors with my Facebook Live thingy. That's awesome.
Uh, Moose went to my mother-in-law's because um, it was her dog in the first place, right? And we didn't know whether she still wanted it. It's because we kept it for like a month, almost. And then she said, you can send my dog now. So, Moose is in good hands. Right? Right. She had another dog before it. Um, her, her name was Pansy, my mother-in-law. She had that dog for a long time. 20 years. Oh yeah, first thing you gotta do is identify. See the bark on this? This is spruce, okay? And you can tell by the branches too. It sticks out like that. So that's awesome. Work on my blanket later. Okay, I'll keep doing this and then um, I'll see you in a bit. Okay? okay? Oh, this is where the wood lot is. Remember when we used to come out here? Tap? Right there. I still see one or two still standing. Maybe we'll harvest it this winter. Yup, yup, yup. Fingers crossed. Okay. Um, once I get this bag filled, we'll, we'll go look for some cranberries. And then we'll go for a little moose hunt around 7. And hopefully we get one. Maybe, uh, oh, I never brought no tobacco. Well, if I could find some, well, do like Edward Needley do, used to do. Um, well, make an offering tobacco. And then, maybe the creator will give us a moose. Okay? And I brought my drum too, so we could drum later too. Too much. Awesome. I, I I got that fire starter from a subscriber. We'll try it later, okay? But we'll grab some of this, okay? Awesome. Well, let's go to the cabin over here. And then... Put more firewood. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's some right here. See them? That's what we're looking for. Okay, I'll start picking right here. And then we'll make our way that way. Awesome. Awesome. Okay? Pick. Grandma used to make um, call it uh, not muffy Lou, 
cranberry jam, just like my little jam. Only found this little bag, so that'll do, eh? My grandma said she used to pick lots of these. Cranberries. I made my way from the cabin down to the point again and um, there's some here but there wasn't any over there by the cabin but so much I got so far so I'm gonna keep going keep going until I fill this bag okay sorry for the wind you can hear it. Awesome, awesome. Muffy Lou is a uh, high bush cranberry. We call it Muffy Lou in Tenet. This is low bush cranberries. I don't know what it is in Tenet. Maybe the wife knows. Your moon. Might have to get uh, offer matches when I don't have tobacco. So, anyways, I'm gonna keep going and going. All I could find is just bunch berries and all that over here. So there was just some by the old cabin and the point. Awesome. But we got some. Okay? Okay. Interesting, okay. Awesome. I did it. Thank you. You're awesome.
I remember when I was a little guy, um, maybe 10, 11, uh, I always hang out with my friend Andy, and um, we always go pick cloudberries with his grandparents, Edward and Annie. And um, sometimes we go hunt moose with them. And uh, I remember one time, old Edward uh, had a fire going, and um, he had tobacco, and he said something in Slavey, in Tene, and um, he threw it in the fire. And then an hour later, we got a moose. So I'm going to try that, but uh, even chicken or rabbit would be even good, eh? So but we'll, we'll ask the creator for, um, for a moose. Okay. And I want to got matches. Um, end of the month on the 29th is my 22nd wedding anniversary. And also, we, um, me and the woman quit uh, smoking tobacco that day, two years ago, end of the month. So anyway, I only got uh, matches. I'll just use three. And, um, Please, creator, please, um, let me see a moose, chicken, rabbit, okay? Okay? And also, um, I was the first one to come back and trap this area, and, um, also, I was the first one to come back and, um, dry fish in this area and uh, my grandpa used to tell me stories about fish camps all along this point and um, when he was like 10 or 8, eight to 10 years old and um, there would be fish camps and uh, so anyways I was the first one to dry fish ever since um, then so not only that I want to be the first to play drum here right Drums never been played here for hundreds of years. Since it was fish camp was here, right? So well, we hope we get a moose and then we'll play for that moose. Let's go by the water and play it, okay?
really cozy. Let's go to uh let's go for our hunt. Hope we catch a fish this time. No moose down windflower. Oh. Got one. Awesome. Caught myself a fish. Woohoo! Have this for lunch tomorrow. Okay. Of 5,800 bighorns in Alberta, and this province also has some of the largest rams with weights of 300 pounds or more. Just knitting my blanket. Watching a show. Okay, I'm going to keep going and then I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. You're awesome. They're impressive horns, which can weigh 30 pounds and be 45 inches in measurement around the outside curve.
No, let's go deal with that fish. Here's the fish I caught. Here's the fish I caught yesterday. So Now. Awesome. I'm just gonna put it on the side a little bit and then just cook it slow, okay? Awesome. While our fish is slowly cooking, um Let's go back here and see what else we could harvest, okay? Because we'll harvest some um, Denny too, right? Rotten spruce. And hopefully harvest some moose. And what else? Oh, some cranberries. Some robust cranberries. And um, let's look around back here. Uh, the old wood lots right here. And yeah. Okay? See my grandpa's 250? Awesome. But anyways, you can see where um, they cut these trees for the log cabin. Here and there. I remember I was like, I think I was 11, and uh, they were out here building the cabin. Uh, Michael, Don Bedeen, and my grandpa. Remember I told you Don Bedeen will make boards with the, with the, the trees for the, the roof and the floor. And Michael, well, um, Hall, John Benino will drop some trees and he'll have his 340, uh, attached to 340, and um, he'll hook it up and then he'll haul it on the lake and haul it where the cabin is now. Long, long time ago. Awesome, man. Eh? A lot of history out here. Okay, let's keep looking. Super windy over here. I see all moose tracks. Look at this old squirrel pole of mine. Got one squirrel. Snare still on there. And it over here to there. Many, many years ago. Sorry for the wind. Remember my chair I made? Many, many, many episodes ago. I got my Denny too yesterday. See? Right there. That's right there. But, look what I found. It's a dead link. Looks like it's been there since last fall. Remember when I seen that, um, one sick link. Hmm. Let's take a better look.
no no snare no trap remember that time um we seen that sick link on the side of the road it was all over if i could find that footage i'll show you but um there's no rabbits at all. I haven't seen no rabbit signs, nothing. So I wonder if they, they, they would starve. And I'm wondering how many link are in the woods right now. Dead. Holy yeah. Wow. Must be thousands of dead link in the bush. That's why people are catching them with 330s because they're starving. Because only once I caught a link with a 330. Okay. Let's go check out this. Yeah, it's, it's um, pretty crazy about that link, eh? I, I never trapped here for over three years. Oh, it's been three years since I trapped here. No rabbits, I think, is the uh, answer. Hello, Oscar. Okay. When I was going up there, was, there was no fishing now uh, on the lake. You see sucker fish sometimes dead on the side, but that's about it. One time we were up the creek, we were looking for beaver. We were paddling that one yellow canoe. And um, <clears throat> just before the first uh, beaver dam, uh, we, we scared a school of uh, sucker fish. And right on our boat, just boom. Oh, I got scared. Papa just said, oh, sucker fish. You said long time ago at that first um, beaver dam too, uh, they used to fill their um, dog sleigh with fish to feed the dogs, right? And he said it took them 15 minutes to go for. And there was this camp, like you said, all along this point, when he was like eight years old. But Ever since I was out here when I was young, there was never fish. We tried fishing and sucker fish don't bite uh, off or anything. But we don't even see sucker fish. And we just see them dead every now and then, the small ones. And um, yeah. Until Grandpa passed. And after Grandpa passed, fish come back. Thanks, Grandpa.
So anyways, we're going to go around maybe five ish when things get cool a little bit. And um, uh, just so we're going to hunt on the way back and hope we get a moose. Hopefully get a moose on the way home. Hmm. Oh, we're way down the road from Gumpus Cabin. And just before the egg, well, we call it the egg hill, it's just a little hill right there. There's jack pine. The only spot around here is jack pine. But remember that time I told you uh, um, I used green pine cones on my final smoke to get that awesome, awesome color. There's a dark pine right here that fell down last year. Remember? I, I cut it up with Uncle's chainsaw. His chainsaw named Annette. Remember I fucked it up? It's right here. Put my grandpa's 250 right there. There's the water. Right here. Look. Awesome. Green pine cones. I want to grab a big bag so. We could find a smoke, one of those hides with it. Okay? Okay. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I'll put you down. Those ones on there are pretty hard to take off because they got those prickly things on there. But I'll, I'll pick up the ones I got on the ground here. So these are the ones I'm looking for. See? They're green, eh? See? And no prickly things on there. Okay. Some on here too. That moose hide's gonna look awesome. I, I could only get this much. Whatever I found on the ground anyway. That's enough. Can't wait to try it. But anyways, when I first, first ever come here, um, we landed with uh, Glen Air on the highway and we walked in. And we had a lean-to right here. And I could hear the ducks and all different kind of animals new to me. And I couldn't sleep the whole night. 
But anyways, it was uh, too late for beaver season. Like they didn't have a canoe or anything, so we just kind of just had a had a good time, I guess. We just we didn't hunt we hunt chicken, but we didn't hunt beaver like man. But um, we had a lean-to right here, and this is my cabin spot. Remember, I cleaned out last year. And it's still a goal. I still want a 14 by 16 cabin, which I gotta start planning right away because trapping's coming, right? And um, I was watching Alone in the Wilderness, Alone in the Wilderness last night, and he started when he was 51 when he made that cabin. And I'm 51, so it'd be nice to build my cabin right here, 14 by 16, with the overhang. Uh, so me and my old lady, uh, my woman, could um, go old in. Because years are going by fast. Look, I'm 51. Nine more years, I'll be 60. Oh, gee. Five more years after that, I'll be an elder. So I got to plan this right now. Like, um, like I should have planned it yesterday. But darn COVID, eh? So 14 by 16 cabin. There we go. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can't wait. Overhang, looking over the lake. Okay, I'm gonna go bring this back to the cabin and then I harvest my pine cones. Some rotten screws and some little bit of cranberries and yeah but we had a good time uh, I'll try to fish some before um, I go now it's a little bit cooler and um, we could bring it to the house tonight and um, so I'll throw it in the freezer if I catch some fish so um, and we're gonna leave about five five pictures and um, on the way home. Okay? Um, this might be two parts because of this video because it's so long already. But uh, yeah. Open by 16. But anyways, uh, it's still too hot to, um, like, if I fish right now and try to transport it home and dry it over there, it'll spoil. So, I'm not going to fish. Oh, well, I already fished. I caught one fish. We ate it. But next time we come, we'll try to catch some fish and um, we'll dry it. We'll dry it here. Uh, so we need about at least five days here, and then we'll drive up, drive a bunch. Okay. Okay. But before I say my piece, uh, I'll say it inside the cabin because it's way too windy, right? That was the past two, three days. Right? We harvest we harvested some cranberries and we got some rotten spruce, some pine cones and one fish. Sorry we couldn't uh um catch any more fish but uh it's gonna spoil right so the smart thing is to just wait and then wait till it gets a little cooler and maybe next time we could dry some fish and um get ready for trapping season. So now uh, Talking about trapping season, um, I really want to get my 14 by 16 cabin started. Uh, I'm going to look for some rough cut lumber, start the floor, and um, if we're going to trap this winter, we're going to have to start right from scratch, like the cabin, hopefully it's built, and uh, a skidoo. We need a skidoo and a sleigh. I got my sleigh over here, so we got a sleigh. 
and Bertha would have to bring her out here and I can't call it Res Trapper, right? Because it's, we're not on the Res no more, so we might have to figure out a name. Maybe just Robert Pedin, um, the Indigenous Trapper. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, uh, um, I had an awesome time. It's just, uh, something about this place is, uh, it's good for my wellness. It's just, it's good to be here. It's like coming home all the time. Because I got a lot of history, a lot, a lot of history here. Lots. And I'm going to continue to have history here. And I want my grandkids to have history here. My great grandkids to have history here. Yeah? Dene. All Dene terrors were here. So anyways, this is peace. And I'll see you later. Okay? Can't wait to start the cabin. Woohoo! 14 by 16 with the overhang. Something to grow old in. <laughs>